I mean, you were busy, but you didn't move the needle in anything in your life. Have you ever had that happen to you before? The whirlwind. Right? Yeah, that's right. Well, that's a tactic of the beast, man. It, it wants to keep you busy. And the problem with most of us is we wake up, we've got kids, we've got jobs, we've got responsibilities, and we're just th- we're just tacking off things. We're just checking things off. And we're just mind-numbingly just allowing uh, the, the, the tail to wag the dog, right? And constantly chasing these activities. Well, what I did is I, there was a book I read several years ago about this uh, businessman who was very successful in New York City. And it's a true story. I mean, I can't, I can't remember the guy's name and story, but I just remember the story. It was back like in the 40s and 50s. This guy had the best office and the tallest building in lower Manhattan. He was fantastic. Well, like all most successful people, he hired a uh, professional to come t- chat with him about how he could be more efficient, and more productive. He wanted to be more efficient, and more productive. And so when the guy came to ch- uh, chat with him, he said, listen, I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I just want you to give me your best tip. And so the business professional, the organizational uh, specialist gave him a three by five card. This is before computers and smartphones, right? Gave him a three by five card. He said, every day you wake up or before you go to bed, I want you to write down the three most important things that you need to address the next day or that day. And then when you start your day, take that card with you. And I want you to look at number one. Don't worry about number two. Don't worry about number three. Focus just on number one. And if that's all you get done that day, that's, that's okay. As long as it's the most important thing. Then when you get number one done, go to number two. Don't worry about number three. And then if you get number two done, get, go to number three. Listen, if you don't get all three things done, that's fine. You'll live to fight the next day. If you get three things done early, that's fine. Get Attack some other things. But figure out what the three most important things are and every phase of your life, not just work, but everything, a home, your personal life, all those three things. So this guy tried it for 90 days and he said, I'll try it for 90 days and I will pay you what I think it's worth. Okay. So he tried it for 90 days. 90 days later, they get back together to have their exit interview. And the business person didn't say anything. Now think about this. This is in the 1940s, right? And he takes out a check and he writes a check for $25,000 and hands it over to the guy and said, that was the most uh, important transformational tip anybody's given me. And the reason for that, the reason why that's so transformational is there's science behind this. And what the science says is that our brains only have so much capacity, so much power, so much energy. And so Aaron, when you wake up and you start your first task of the day, you start to burn energy from your brain. You start to burn calories and you drain that battery that is your brain. And you have about 80 to percent brain power, 80 to 100 percent brain power when you do your first task. By the time you get to your second task, you have 60 to 70% brain power. And then some studies suggest by the time you get your third task, you got less than 50%, 40 to 60% brain power. The problem is most of us, we have 50,000 things we want to get done. We set ourselves up for failure before we even start. And we beat ourselves up because we never feel like we get anything done. So the port, one of the first things I talk about in the book, and I give people a tool actually to do this, and that is, I challenge everybody to try it for, I don't, try, I don't ask you to marry this or get a tattoo on your body, right, on this. I just say, try it for 50 days. And I give them a tool that allows them to do it for 50 days. And I want you to do what that business person did. Wake up every day and write down the three most important things. Now, I understand you, you, there's probably 50 other things you got to get done. That's fine. But out of those 50, there's three that are the most important. And you got to start identifying those and allowing yourself the... Uh, capacity and the margins to focus on those three things. So if you don't get the fourth and fifth thing done, that's fine, but you got those three. Now, here's the thing, Aaron, this is key. You don't write down the three things you want to get done at work, the three things you want to get done at home, the three things you want to get done in your personal life. I'm talking about the three things and everything in your life holistically. Now, here's what's going to happen. I guarantee it. It gets messy with people when people try this because you're going to drop some balls when you do this. And can I tell you something, Aaron? you probably need to drop some of those balls because you're too busy spreading yourself so thin. You're, you're media, you're, you're leaving a mediocre, mediocre life with your spouse, with your kids, with your work, because you spread yourself so thin. When I started doing this, and here's what's going to happen. When you start doing this, you're going to start to adapt and you're going to start figuring out better ways to approach your day because you put this boundary in your life. And over time, you start to bend your life towards this idea of focused on your three most important things. And then things pop off. You know, I've got tons of stuff I got to get done. I only wrote down three things I want to get done today. I got to get ready for my trips for this week. I get to clear out my emails. I got to hang out with Aaron. Those are the three most important things I'm getting done today. Everything else is secondary. 